in my previous video you saw how to make a radio transmitter for drone and any kind of RC project. In the opinion of my viewer, the transmitter was very official and decent look. If you have not seen my previous video, then I want to tell you must watch that video. And with that you know it is a drone video series. So in today's video we will see how to configure a drone flight control system. And I promise you if you watch the video from beginning to end, then you can make a official drone for yourself at a very low cost. And with that I want to tell you my flight control system will work just like your official system. So let's start the video. This video is sponsored by JLCPCB and EasyEDA. And I have been using EasyEDA for the last 5 years to make my PCB. In the same way today's drone PCB I made in EasyEDA software. And with that even you can order your PCB at JLCPCB from EasyEDA. The JLCPCB has came up with an excellent offer for you. First time any user registered on JLCPCB website, you will get a free coupon of $18. This is really awesome, right? Other hand, you will also receive free coupon every month on SMT order. So without wasting any more time, grab this wonderful offer by visiting the JLCPCB website. Link is in the description box. Okay, when you're building a drone, some people make mistake in flight control system. So that you don't make this kind of mistake. For that, let's understand how the flight control system actually work. I have divided my flight control system into two parts. One of which is the receiver section which will receive the signal from my transmitter and the second section will collect this signal and control everything and the second section name is a flight control system which is controlled by Maldui firmware. The function of the Maldui section is to keep the drone in balance and fly stable in the sky. Even with that this Maldui section give the right signal to all the motors to keep them in the right balance. Ok hopefully I believe you understand the subject completely. You can see this is my flat control board which I ordered. I ordered 10 pieces and hopefully there will be no fault in this board. Very first of all I will use AMS 107 5V regular IC here to give the correct voltage to all microcontroller and modules. And after then I want to take a look is 5V out from this IC and see the exact 5V coming out from here. That means now I can put all the component on this board. Next as a multi view section brain I am going to use SMD Atmega 328P IC here. Wait. Wait wait wait, there is nothing to be afraid of seeing this SMD IC. You can do it with Arduino Nano if you want, like I did my previous video. And you know guys this IC is also used in Arduino Nano. I am mounting this SMD IC directly on this PCB here to make my drone relatively lightweight in weight. Even with that, since drone need to exchange code all the time for multi configure, so I will use the AC340 USB communication IC here. Even you can see this IC in Arduino Nano. If you want, you can take off from Arduino Nano. And note guys, if you are beginner, use direct Arduino Nano in Pro Drive board. Despite that, if you are confused, I will say, I made a video with this IC, how to program all IC with this AC340 IC only. Please notice well, all the components that you can see on this board, all these components are used in Arduino Nano. In a single word, you can say this is a Arduino Nano. And hopefully you know guys, as I said earlier, this section controls the balance. So we need an MPU60 gyroscope module here. And that's what I will put on my board. And with that, our flight control system is ready. But now we need a receiver section to receive the signal from my transmitter. That is why I am going to use an Atmega328 PIC here, which is used in Arduino Uno. And of course, I need an NRF24 module here to receive the signal from my transmitter for wirelessly communication. Okay, now tell me, was there anything difficult about it? Nothing is difficult, everything is straight, right? <laughs> okay, our final drone flight control system is ready, which was very easy to build, right? Okay, now it's time to upload code. Okay, you can see here, this is PPM receiver code. I will upload the code to my Atmega 328P IC with my homemade programmer. Then I will put this IC again on my board. Okay, now next step to insert the multi system in the flight control section. For that reason, I will connect the USB to my flight control system board. Since it is Arduino Nano, so I will select Nano here. And here you can see this is the multi code. In the multi code, you just have to go into the config.h and next you have just to enable the MPU6050 gyroscope. After uploading the code, I will open the software called multi config. Next I will go there and select the correct Arduino port. And then you have to click this start button and you can see some graph here. Next you have to keep this board on a flat surface to calibrate the balance of drone. And please note guys this procedure is best for a complete drone. But I am showing you an example here. After then I will click on calibrate accelerometer. And now you can see my flat control showing a live position. Please note guys Maltu is a platform through which you can calibrate drone, helicopter, plane and much more. 
Next, now the thing to notice my receiver is receiving the correct signal from my transmitter. I will select the angle mode switch on and horizontal mode select 2 and then I will select all those selection in write mode and then go to them in read mode and configure them in my Arduino. And see guys, whenever I send a signal from my transmitter, it's showing me the correct value here. This is the biggest proof that my transmitter is communicated properly with my flight control system. But now I will check it physically, will that work properly? So that is why in my case I will use 4 brushless motor here. And you know guys, the brushless motor is really good for drone and it does not burn easily. And hopefully you know guys this motor is required for ESC to run. And I am going to use an ESC of 30 MP here. So that is why I will attach every positive and negative wire of the ESC with my flight control board. And after then I will connect the every ESC signal cable to this board. So that it can get a correct signal from each motor. And see whenever I select a throttle 0 and ES signal 255 and hold it 3 seconds just then my motor will start spinning. And you can see here everything is working pretty well. Just now we need a beautiful frame in which I can fit everything properly. So in the next video we will see how to build a right structure from this drone and how to fly this drone in the sky in a very successful way. Ok guys this was today's short video, if you don't like this video you can definitely dislike it. And if you like it please subscribe my channel and see you in the next video, stay well and stay healthy.